Foods that are high in spermidine can help induce a bodily function known as autophagy. This is the body's process of replacing old, dying, or damaged cells with newer, healthier cells. As you can imagine, this process is crucial for your overall well-being, and it can help increase your longevity. What foods are high in spermidine? Spermine, which is a derivation of spermidine caused by spermine synthase, is normally found in millimolar concentrations in the nucleus. It functions directly as a free radical scavenger and forms a variety of adducts that prevent oxidative damage to DNA. The spermine synthase process is very important in the autophagy process. Here are some examples of foods high in spermidine. Potatoes, peas, soybeans, chicken, lentil soup. These foods will help replenish your body's spermidine pool. As mentioned earlier, without a proper amount of spermidine, it becomes increasingly difficult for your body to initiate the autophagy process. Also, as mentioned earlier, you can get your recommended daily intake of spermidine by taking supplements. What foods are high in polyamines? Polyamine content will vary noticeably in food. Keep in mind, other factors such as cooking method, storage method, storage period, and serving method will affect polyamine content in your food. Here are some options for high levels of polyamines in food. Grapefruit, orange juice, soybean, peas, pear, liver, pork, chicken, lentil soup, broccoli. By building a diet around foods with high polyamine content, you can help fuel the anti-aging process. This is because foods high in spermidine can help promote autophagy. What foods are high in amines? Amines come from protein breakdown or fermentation. Large amounts are present in cheese, chocolate, wines, beer, yeast extracts, and fish products. They are also found in certain fruits and vegetables, e.g. bananas, avocados, tomatoes, and broad beans. It should be noted that there are some people who will have an intolerance to amines. The more amines consumed in the daily diet for those who are sensitive, the more likely it is that a bad reaction will occur. If you notice negative reactions whenever you eat these foods, you should consult with your doctor. Your doctor will be able to determine whether or not you have an intolerance to amines. What is cadaverine used for? Cadaverine, a natural polyamine with multiple bioactivities that is widely distributed in prokaryotes and eukaryotes, is becoming an important industrial chemical. There are many different uses for cadaverine, and it is an especially important monomer for bio-based polyamides. Cadaverin-based polyamide PA5X has broad application prospects owing to its environmentally friendly characteristics and exceptional performance in water absorption and dimensional stability. Cadaverine can accumulate at high concentrations in cheese, fish and fish products, fermented sausages, and fish sauces. They are some of the most abundant biogenic amines located in cheeses, along with tyramine and histamine. What do amines do in the body? Fundamentally, an amine is a derivative of ammonia that centers around a single nitrogen atom. As a general rule, an amine is classified as a compound that has a nitrogen atom connected with two hydrogen atoms and a single group of some other atoms. However, substances where one or both hydrogen atoms are replaced by other atoms are also classified as amines. Amines play an important role in the survival of life. They are involved in the creation of amino acids, the building blocks of proteins in living beings. Many vitamins are also built from amino acids. Serotonin is an important amine that functions as one of the primary neurotransmitters for the brain. It controls the feelings of hunger and is critical for the speed with which the brain operates in general. It also affects the state of happiness and helps in regulating the sleeping and waking up cycle of the brain. What is the biogenic amine theory? The biogenic amine theory is the theory that defects in the physiology and metabolism of biogenic amines, especially catecholamines, or noradrenaline, norepinephrine, and dopamine, and an indoliamine, serotonin, are pathogenetically linked to certain psychiatric illnesses, especially depression. Supplements can help. It can be difficult to reach your recommended daily intake of spermidine simply by just consuming it in your diet. That's why spermidine capsules and other supplements can help you do all you can to induce autophagy and reduce the unwanted effects of aging. Spermidine Life offers spermidine-rich capsules designed to promote cellular renewal. We highly recommend taking your daily dose of spermidine supplements at the same time every day, preferably after you eat dinner. 
This makes it easy to remember to take your capsules so that you never miss a daily dose. These capsules are designed to promote autophagy, which gives your cells the ability to regenerate and rejuvenate. 